centered your life around. Education. Education. Ooh, we've never talked about education before. Oh, uh, yeah. This could be really interesting. Okay. Well, you know, I've been down to Frankfurt a few times recently. <laughs> I don't know what Frankfurt so... is. Are you, are you making... I love that attitude. Oh my goodness. Feels good to sit in Would you mind if I recorded it? I don't care. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I'm Ty, by the way. Hi, Ty. I'm Carol. Carol. C A R O L. Oh, oh. I'm only. I don't think a lot of people spell it with a K, but I always like to tell you. I know, because everybody spells everything different. I know, right? Anyway, uh, so yeah. Who's like I said, this through? No one. This is just a personal hobby. You just decided to do this, huh? Yeah. So I have time off from work. And uh, normally what I like to do is just try to fill up my time with something productive. And I thought, man, I saw these people on YouTube having these conversations with people. Yeah. Just randomly and just like, hey, you want to sit down and talk for five minutes? And then people would be like, yeah, you want to talk about TV? I was like, sure, let's talk about TV. Or like, uh, I saw this thing that happened in the news. I want to talk about it. Just bounce the idea Because, you know, else. NPR was here downtown. Really? A few years ago. And I don't remember what that program was called, and that's what they used to do. Okay, so like a story core? It was. That's exactly who it was. It's very similar to that. Huh. And I am thought, that sounds so cool. Uh, what do I need to do to try that out? It'd Have you had many people stop? Yeah. So I've been doing this since November. Oh, well, I cool. got a nice little channel set up. Yeah. Uh, I got backlogged videos until like April. <laughs> no, wait, wait. Not April. Uh, what's, it? what's the month after May? June? So like June? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So like I just... I found it a really rewarding way to just have a meaningful conversation with people about whatever they want. And That's I also cool. learned how to, like, not get anyone, you know, defensive or anything like that. My goal is just to have, like, a really positive conversation. Where are you from? I'm from California originally. I moved around a lot. I'm military, actually. Oh. Military brat. Oh, my mom. Okay. I've never been in the military, but my mom has That's been. My husband's a military brat. What brand? Same thing. Um, his dad was in the Army. Okay, yeah. And mom they and dad. ended up living all over the place. Yeah. I went so. to, like, three high schools, all that stuff. So you learn how to make friends really quickly. And that's why I think stuff like this is important. Do huh, you have a topic you. you want to talk about? I'm not really. Anything that really matters to you? Anything that motivates you? Something that you strongly believe to be true? Maybe something you, you centered your life around? Education. Education. Ooh, we've never talked about education before. Oh, uh, yeah. This could be really interesting. Okay. Well, you know, I've been down to Frankfurt a few times recently. <laughs> I don't know what Frankfurt so... is. Are you, are you making... Where our cap where that's Frank. the capital of Kentucky. Honey. Oh, see now I'm learning things. Okay, let's mm -hmm. check that out. So Frankfurt, are they known for their education or is that No, all but you see we've had a governor here that we don't see eye to eye with him. And okay. so we've gone to protest. You know, old fashioned like in the sixties and seventies. Could, could you walk me through the issue? I'm not I'm not up to date. The um well it was simply that our governor um wanted to change um, some of our retirement benefits and all like that for education and I don't feel that he's really supported public education and so uh, a lot of school districts shut down and went to Frankfurt and Fayette County was one of them okay so just so I can catch up sure there are schools that were here but mm -hmm. the retirement plans for teachers got pulled or, like, defunded by the governor. And changed around. Okay. Made more inconvenient. Right. More or less. Right. And because of that, a lot of school systems, the good ones, moved to Frankfurt just to get... Well, no, no. The people, their teachers and staff, faculties, went to protest. Okay. You know, with signs to picket. Yeah, and yeah, all yeah. like that. Yeah. What was the result, or is that still ongoing? Um, it's still ongoing. Um, Bevan didn't seem to care what any of us thought, and so now our um, Andy Bashir, which is our state's attorney, is going to fight him in court. Okay, and what side are you on? I think that I should get the retirement I was promised for 26 years. So you're a teacher? I'm a paraeducator. Okay, okay. So, and I don't have a problem with them changing the program, but I don't think they should change my program. I see. I think if the new people coming in, you want to change theirs, I'm okay with that. I get it. So the plan mm -hmm. that you already agreed to right. is being retroactively modified yep. by exactly. this policy. And you think, I didn't sign up for this deal. That's right. I put in all these years for this deal. Why are you changing the rules? And now? I do believe in public education. Okay. And I do believe, contrary to what has been said that the majority of us really do care about our kids mm. and we care that they get a good education 
And I think the majority of teachers at my school do the best they can. Okay. And put in 110% all the time. I had public education. What would you say mm -hmm. is the advantage? You probably have a different perspective than I do. Well, actually, like I don't know. I think the advantages are diversity. Okay. I... Because I believe I grew up in the 60s and 70s, and I went to an all-white predominantly Christian Catholic public school mm -hmm. same thing in middle school and I personally think that our world has changed considerably for the good mm -hmm. and I think young people should go to school with people of color mm -hmm. with people of different religions okay of people of different ethnic backgrounds and I think it makes our young people better why do you think that makes people better to be around because people I think it makes them see um, everything differently and I think it starts with our young people my father um, was pretty set in his ways you know he felt a certain way about Muslims mm -hmm. and um, different things like that and I know I couldn't change him mm. there was no way uh, to change him okay he but was thinking closed-minded you can change our young people and if you put them in a setting where they're all together and they look at a person as being you know Susie instead of Muslim right it changes things for the better absolutely mm. it's like a social education mm -hmm. along with everything else and like in our here in Lexington I mean we have um, Lexington Christian Academy which is obviously a very Christian school and we have Lexington Catholic but I see the problem with those schools is that they're predominantly Christian obviously mm. and so those kids never get to be around people that are Hindu, mm. that are Buddhist, mm. that are Muslim, that are Jewish. Why do you think the schools who are predominantly Christian mm -hmm. prefer not to have, you know, other religions in their school because system? Because that's not their belief. Okay. And they don't, they wouldn't want their kids to maybe listen or pay attention to some other views. Mm and maybe not stay in the Christian faith. Do you think it's important for someone to question what they believe to be true, even at a young age? Oh, yeah. Okay. I think it's important to question just about everything. I think so, too. I think that's totally And good. I think, um, and it's also by asking people about themselves that that's where you learn more. Mm. Because if you only see things your side and never listen to another side, yes, you then stay in that same little narrow mind and it doesn't mean that you'll always change your mind mm. but I like having friends that are different okay because it just gives you the opportunity to like bounce your and ideas see off different someone else. sides absolutely can I ask one weird question sure go ahead assume one of your friends was right and I don't and they have mm -hmm. a, a different belief than what you have right, right. now would you be more inclined to change your beliefs to whatever they have if they can present you with a reasonable argument for Probably. why you should look? So, Probably. Although I'm pretty set in my views, mm -hmm. I can be made to see another side. Okay. And I think that that's more so of young people. I think so too. Because I don't think they're as set <laughs> in their ways as the rest of us are. <laughs> they're not. And, you know, I think it's good for our young people to hear other and I'm glad we had that I think so too I think school um, could be a really and good what was it I had a few years ago we do a big board of the world okay. and then we put pins on it where some of our students are from because we're lucky to have kids from all over the world sure absolutely and the year I messed up was I didn't go find our little girl from Siberia okay because when I was growing up we always told that they sent the bad people to Siberia and I wanted to see you know one of those bad people from Siberia okay I doubt she'd see the humor in it but you know all right one last final weird question then. sure what's a good way to learn true things is it, it I know you can be around different people with different ideas right is that always a reliable way to come to a true conclusion? And Not if, always. What is a good way to come to I a true conclusion? I don't know that there's one way. What's I the think best way? Ask around. You know, now we have a wonderful thing called computers. We do got computers. And you can do a lot of really cool, in, you know, inter, 
just investigating different topics on yeah. computers you, and fine. Have you ever seen Quantum Leap? I love that show, by the way. Yes, I Scott have. Scott that's, that's Yes, that's an, an amazing old show. show. I, I hate to tell you. But I grew up with that. That's like, okay. that's my age. Like okay. Green Rainbow, Quantum Leap, and okay. then straight into Stargate or something like that. Okay. Or original Star Trek. Right. But uh, uh, there would be a guy named, or there would be a computer called Ziggy mm-hmm. that the guy would foam around. Right. And it was like this little Absolutely. pocket thing. Back then, they didn't understand what they were alluding to because they were just like some. It's some future sciencey thing. Yeah. Don't worry. It has the news. It has newspapers. It has music on it. Right. That thing will never exist. Just pretend what it is. But now we have that. Like these are what those are in a sense. Smartphones. Are Absolutely. Involved. So we all have access to that. So. Well, there's even there was an old cartoon called The Jetsons. I remember The Jetsons. A lot of what they had is true today. It did. They had I mean, microwaves. look at the little vacuum sweepers that go around your house. Yeah, you yeah, yeah, yeah. The cell phone. I mean, there's so much stuff now. The uh, that, TV dinner that yes. you take out in the microwaves. Those were like mind blowing. And then jelly bellies that like, oh, I'm eating toast right so now. So isn't it amazing <laughs> when you look back on this and you're like, wow. But I don't know if they're better or not. I don't know if the phone has made anybody better or not. I'm sorry. Did you the cell phone. Do you know if cell phones are made better? Because a lot of my students, they don't develop real relationships where they have friends. It's all done on a phone now. I think it's different, but it doesn't take away the opportunity to still make friends one-on-one with people, which is also its own thing. But it, this is just another avenue to have right. keep in touch with people. And I think nothing's sep- substituting each other. Mm-hmm. They're just supplementing each other. And in that sense, I'm totally fine with it. I still think you have to go through the effort to like make friends one-on-one. So well, see, I grew up the old way where you had friends, you played outside all yeah. day long, I mean, same hung here. out with your friends. And, same here. You know, the phone was my parents' thing. You know, yeah. we didn't get to use, I didn't get to use the phone only until I was a teenager. Okay, and even okay. then, it was just to make plans and get out of the house. I used to have <laughs> video games that were not connected to the internet. Oh. So if I wanted people to play with me, you I had, had to, to make friends with neighbors and right. invite them to my house. Right. My mom had to know who they were and we would just sit and play but we'd have we'd be sitting right next to each other and See, now I think that made a difference too. Now I can play with thousands of people. Uh, and my son does that. And while it's convenient it doesn't feel the same.